Hi there. So this stream is to answer another viewer question that popped up on the forums. If you don't know where our forums are, you can find them on blog.terrascore.com slash community. And in this question here, one of our viewers is having a problem getting his animation to work the way that he wants it to work. So I, in this video, I just want to go through the possible causes for this and more importantly, how you fix this issue. So the reason why I'm making these bug fixing videos, right, it's because in the other video that I recently recorded, I talked about how it's better to teach a man how to fish instead of just giving him fish. So I've been helping our viewers fix problems in our forums. So whenever they post issues on the forums, uh, either the AI helper on the forums will help them fix the problems or I will look through their code or ask for their project files so that their problem can be fixed. And the reason why I'm going through this is because how you grow as a programmer is not about how many lines of code you write or how many tutorial series you follow. It's about creating on projects and more importantly, solving problems when they crop up. And the solving of problems, right, is how you really grow as a programmer. And this is the reason why I'm creating videos like these. Okay, so to jump right into the problem that the viewer has, the bat that he has basically has two different animations. The bat has an idle animation where the bat looks pretty chill. And then the bat also has a chase animation where when he's chasing you, he's animating a little bit more vigorously. And the problem that he has, right, is that when the game is playing, the chase animation is not showing. And he's asking me why. So it's playing the idle animation, not the chase animation. Right. So how do you fix issues like these? Whenever you have a, an animation problem, right? you want to find your animator window. Let me just reset this to the default layout and then I can show you where to find the animator window. Animator window is right here under animation, animator. And what I usually like to do is I like to dock the animator here. And from here, you can see which animations are firing when the enemy is doing his thing. So I usually play the game. And from there, as the enemy is doing its thing, I will pay attention to the animator itself. And you will see that no matter what happens, right, the idle animation is always playing. And if you look at how the animator is designed, right, the animator basically has the animation alternate between chase and idle. And then the other animations, right, are fired from any state, meaning from idle or chase, uh, you can go to stun and you can go to death as well. And then from stun, death just ends everything, but stun will lead you either back to chase or idle. So the problem that the viewer has, right, is that this arrow is not firing. And if you look at the condition here, you will see that when chase is true, then the animation goes from idle, chase, right? But if you look at parameters here, right, so the conditions here are run by the parameters here. So again, when the game is running, you will be able to see when the parameters are changed by your code, right? The parameters list will update here. And so what, what we see here is that the parameters never fire. All right, let me just rerun this for you here. Right now, if I check the chase right here, you will see the chase animation immediately plays. See that? So the problem is that the viewer, he has to check this by using code. And that is the problem. His code is not firing this chase checkbox. Because if it fires, then the chase animation immediately plays. So the next thing you want to do now that we found the issue, which is that the chase variable is not firing, you will want to go to the bats script right here. And we have to find where the updating of the animator is done. And usually I just search for anim or I search for set bool. So over here, the chase is a boolean. So if you search for set bool or anim, because most animators are named anim animator or something along those lines, you will find the lines of code that are responsible and right here the logic basically sets the boolean for idle chase and stun right if you look at the animator for the bat here there's idle chase and stun there is none for death is a trigger so it's for these three so if he has code here right that updates the animation why is it not updating so it might be that the condition here is wrong and over here get current enemy state is basically the property that you find inside the bat attacker here but it's a private property so in the bat attacker component you will see there's actually a state variable but this is not visible unless you go to debug mode which shows us all the private variables as well so if i play the game now you will see that the enemy state actually updates properly right it starts at idle but then once uh it gets near the play it changes to the chase state so when it changes to the chase state right why is it not firing because over here get current enemy state obviously matches bad attacker chase so the boolean here is not the problem you can actually just do a print here to check this just print out bad enemy state and now I'll, I'll print out the boolean here as well this is just to show you that this condition here is actually fine okay so if i do a print here and i run the code you see that there is a little bit of problem here but this is just my so you'll see the print actually just totally never appear and therein lies the problem this print statement should appear and it doesn't appear what this tells you is that this function is entirely not firing right because if it was firing then this would show up on the console okay so because it's not firing we can right away know the problem with this if you want to confirm this you can do a control f and just do a change current animation right here and you will see that it's never called anywhere so we can call this somewhere we can call this an update we can also call this uh, let's see if the enemy class has this update enemies change 
current animation. So change current animation is being caught here, but it's not being caught inside the bat. And that's because the enemy take the current enemy state. Well, there's a, there's a typo here. It's one thing. So what I'm doing is because the this function is not being called entirely, I'm looking at places where we can call this function and this will fix the issue. So right now I'm thinking about putting it under update enemy states here. Because whenever a state updates, the animator updates, right? So I'm just going to add change current animation here and this should fix our issue because then the enemy state will update and then this will cause the animator to update. See that now the chase animation is playing properly. So the TLDR of that is just that the logic was put inside change current animation, but because change current animation wasn't firing, then you know the states were not updating, and that was why we had this problem. So just head over to update enemy states here and then add this line here, and it should fix all the issues that uh, were present in the project. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about is that there are actually ways to optimize this animator right here. There is no need for us to have a chase and idle because they both are opposites of one another. Okay, so instead of having chase and idle like this, what we can do is we'd rather replace the chase right here like this. Okay, and I will just let idle control the transition to and from, which means from idle to chase will be idle is false, and then from chase to idle will be idle is true. That way you say one variable, and then you can also shorten your code like this. Okay, so here instead of writing logic like this, you can check if get current enemy state is equals to idle, or I'll, I'll just do if it's equals to chase, then I'll set idle to be equals to false. I can actually just do this, okay? So by doing this, this actually simplifies my code because now I have one less line. So if it's not chase, it'll be idle. And then if it's not idle, then it'll be chase, right? So by making this logic here, I get the same behavior. So it simplifies the issue right here. So if I go far enough, the bat will turn idle. If I go close enough, it goes to chase. The other thing is that this is a relatively simple animator issue. You can get very complex animator issues that cause the animator window to spaz out. Let me show you an example, right? Let me just disable the updating of the enemy states and I can show you what I mean. Sometimes you can get very weird animator behaviors. So the animator is always your best friend when it comes to debugging your animation wolves because you can write code that goes wrong and when the code goes wrong, sometimes they go really wrong. So if I check these two, for example, right, you'll see that Okay, there are some states where there, there can be some animator configurations where you see everything just glitch out and this is when your animator window comes in handy because you can actually play around with checking different variables to see how this affects your animator and if the animator is misbehaving and just hopping between many different states you can also see that as well i can't create this for you because i don't have an example but once another viewer comes in with more complex animator issue i can do another video on this but as it stands this is a relatively simple animator issue and a lot of the issues actually come from the code there are some instances where the bug is entirely caused inside the animator and when i come across those we'll do another video i think those are particularly interesting to talk about and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for